Introducing Isaiah Zuselden. Here is the undefeated young sensation known as the small town soldier. Introducing Joey Spencer. On. Again, you're matched up, you know, there's usually a, a talent discrepancy when you're a young guy in the ring. And they're not oh, match it. oh, big right hand! And down goes Selden. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left toward me. He stumbles as he hell steps yeah. to the side. Oh, he just, he, he, oh, he says, he, he says, are you ready? He says, hell yeah. But wow, he, he got flipped sideways, Sean, by that shot. Joey's got to be, 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 be careful here. You got a guy selling him right there. Three hooks oh, right, right over here, right to the back of the head. Guys like this, they're dangerous. Two points and transitional foul behind the head. Collected himself nicely. Sean, he waited. You know, the professional eight gave himself a little time and then got up. But, but he's definitely hurt oh, again wow. and goes down and that's it. Oh, wow, hey, Isaiah hey, Selden is oh, off balance even though he's protesting the end of this fight. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Get your get, get your gun. Sean, could he have counted oh, there? Should he have counted? He says, I'm going to take your pay. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I don't want to see any bad blood in the ring here today. You understand me? I saw the look. This is boxing. This is not a street fight. Now head back to the corner or I'll take points right away. Now, interesting. And then the big right hand from Spencer. And stop. Selden goes hey, stop, down stop. hard. Now listen. Charge! Two points and ten to the foul behind the head. And then that right no, hand, that, that knocked him stiff. And then Selden went down and Cantu oh, ended man. it right then and there. And that good... Sharp right hand to end it. Selden got back up, but Sean Porter, it was yeah. as if Jerry Cantu was anticipating a problem, yeah. and he still got it. I, yeah. I don't know where how we saw that coming. Yeah, and I think that that explains the two points that we saw him take right after right. those uh, those overhands to the head. Uh, we understand the, the, the foul and something needed to be done, but two points I didn't really understand. Now it makes sense. Yeah, I agree. I think you can. I think you can always count and then you can make an assessment. A legit right hand right there. That's a legit yeah. right hand, and he, and he goes down, but. Do your job as a referee to the fight, not a, not a referee to the moment of what's going on and what you think is going to happen. Yeah, because it's all right. He's knocked him down twice, but it, the guy still has a lot of energy. It's not blowout city yet, even yeah. though we're talking two big knockdowns. There's no yeah. question. Spencer yeah. was, you know, drilling him. And, but and we I, can you even, can count and then assess. And we can even be fair enough to say Isaiah Selden was light on his feet when he was getting up, but still give him mm -hmm. that opportunity. Well, fans, we have the time of 2 minutes, 15 seconds in round number one. A referee in charge, Jerry Cantu, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, the small town soldier, Joey Spencer. Joey Spencer, hey, uh, Sean, he didn't really get to show off that jab, did he? <laughs> no, he didn't, but <laughs> the big know. right hand. Brian, congratulations to you, Joey. Your first uh, eight rounder. It certainly didn't go with the eight rounds. That's a, that's a fact. You know, let's. I first want to start with uh, Jerry Cantu. He he brought you guys in for a second time. He said, "I didn't like the look. This isn't a street fight. What happened? I missed the look." Um, no, I just approached the, um, you know, the ref's instructions with, you know. Uh, I guess a uh, uh, look on my face. Um, I'm an intense fighter, you know. I was coming in here. I knew that he, he was uh, planning on being bigger than me. I knew he was planning on, you know, roughing me up. Um, that's what he had said in some interviews this week. So I was just coming in to tell him I'm not having it. You know, I'm, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to bully you. And, and um, you know, now after the fight, no hard feelings. But you know, that's what I was bringing to the table coming into the fight. And um, that's the intensity that I brought into my training camp. So. Uh, you know, each ref has his thing. He's just trying to head off, you know, hoping that no sure. w of what happened, you know, with yeah. the behind the head shots and things like that weren't, wasn't going to happen. So um, luckily, you know, there wasn't on my side, obviously. Well, you brought the intensity. You brought the intensity to that first knockdown. Here's a look at it here. Take us through, uh, you know, what your game plan was in this first round. Did you expect him to go down like that? I just know that I'm, I'm getting bigger, I'm getting stronger, yes. and I'm getting older. And, um, Things are changing in the gym. Um, COVID, I haven't wasted any time. I've been in the gym, getting stronger, 
um, doing strength training with Josh Kozer, my my strength and conditioning coach. Um, you know, I wasted no time, and I've gotten stronger. I've gotten more natural man strength, and also strength that I've developed in the gym. And then, you know, my boxing. I've just been boxing like crazy, and people aren't taking my punches the same way as they used to, and it's bringing me a lot of confidence. So yes, I did expect that to happen in there. With a fight like that ending so quickly, how soon you want to get back in there? Oh, I'm hoping April. That's um, that's what I heard from my uh, management, and, and I'm ready to rock, man. Uh, I want to thank you to uh, Al Heyman as well. Absolutely. You said you, 2021 is the year to put the world on notice. You're certainly starting it off right. For all the best boxing content, follow PBC on Fox on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.